What does a Swiss watch, film projector and CNC machining centre have in common? This odd looking mechanism and today we'll be discussing what it is, how it works and why you know exactly what it sounds like. Let's get started. Just before we get started, I would like to say that this video is brought to you by The Great Courses Plus. And you can go to The Great Courses Plus forward slash Makers Muse to sign up for a free one month trial today. This is the Geneva Drive, a gear mechanism that translates continuous rotational movement into indexed intermittent movement. It's one of the earliest of all intermittent motion mechanisms and derives its name from its use in Swiss watches in the 17th century. However, it's entirely likely that similar mechanisms were in use from a much earlier period. The mechanism consists of a pin which rotates in a slot of the driven wheel and pulls it one step forwards before the circular portions interact and lock the movement for another rotation of the drive wheel. The driven wheel has a highly unique look to it which is what drew my attention to this mechanism in the first place and you can have from 3 to around 18 index location or known as, also known as dwells on the driven wheel and when designed with four dwells you can see how it gets its other name the Maltese cross mechanism. So I drew this in Fusion 360, you can get the 3D printing files here on the card above and I'll be making a video in future on how I drew it. It's actually fairly straightforward but you do need to use a lot of constraints within Fusion 360 to draw it properly. So there are several forms this mechanism can take with this external drive wheel being the most popular. Another variation is the internal Geneva drive and the funky looking spherical Geneva drive with the added bonus of translating the motion at a right angle. There's also another variation called the Geneva stop which is very similar to the external drive however then it will stop at a certain point and be pro prohibited from rotating any further. This was used in watches to prevent overwinding of the spring mechanism. So what's so special about this mechanism you might be asking? Well despite its fairly simple nature it actually accomplishes a movement purely mechanically that's actually quite useful in many industries. Let's take a look at how it operates using this cordless drill. The drive pin engages and moves the driven wheel over one stop. However, it's not a smooth linear movement between each dwell like you might expect, but it's actually instead quite violent in terms of the acceleration curve, which looks along the lines of this. It flicks the driven wheel over so fast, in fact, that when you're spinning it with the drill at roughly 400 RPM, you actually can barely see the transition between each dwell period, which is pretty crazy actually. It's this behavior that found the Geneva mechanism widely used in early film projectors where it was used to quickly advance the film between frames, leaving each exposed for a set period of time. Remember at the start I said that you know the sound of this mechanism? Well, it's true. Almost everyone knows that old timey clacking sound associated with old fashioned film projectors. And so what about CNC machines? Well, accurate indexing of the tool change carousel is a must for fast, pre-programmed tool changes and many older machining centers make use of a huge Geneva drive to safely and accurately index each new tool into the spindle when you do a tool change as you can see in this video. I can also pretty much guarantee that this mechanism would have found use in military applications but I couldn't find any specific examples so let me know in the comments if you know of any I'd certainly like to hear all about it. So you'll notice I mentioned old film projectors and older CNC machines. Well, there's a pretty good reason for that. You see, despite the Geneva drive being a really cool and simple intermittent motion mechanism, it has some pretty huge downsides, some of which you might have already noticed, starting with wear. So unlike a geared mechanism where the motion components roll by each other, this mechanism consists almost entirely of sliding contact. The pin slides into the slot and the dwell cycle has the cylindrical faces sliding across one another. So can you imagine how much friction and heat would be involved with one of these spinning at several hundred RPMs for hours, days or even years of operation? Because of this Geneva drives are known to wear out very fast, however similar to cams in your engine you can protect them using oil. In fact film projectors used to encase the entire mechanism in an, in an entire enclosure full of oil so the entire mechanism was always coated with oil to help prevent overheating and undue wear. However, even with this it often fell quickly and the movement relies on high precision as well so any any wear would actually lead to premature failure quite quickly. As you can see with this mechanism, if I rotate this part here and then put some weight here, it starts jamming up. 
Another huge disadvantage depending on application is the acceleration and deceleration curves mentioned earlier. This means these drives vibrate hugely under operation and they make a heck of a noise too at higher speeds. So in most applications you probably want a smooth transition between each dwell cycle and there is actually patents detailing attempts to modify Geneva mechanisms to make them more accurately provide this. But the popularity of this mechanism is definitely not what it was 20 to 30 years ago. And that's just because of modern automation technology. You can easily control movement precisely now using low cost servos or stepper motors, just as you'd find in your 3D printer. There's no need for an elegant mechanical solution. So that's the Geneva mechanism guys, a gorgeous, elegant and outdated solution for intermittent motion. And next time you hear that film projector sound, you'll know exactly what made it. A big thanks to The Great Courses Plus for sponsoring this episode on Makers Muse. If you enjoy learning new things in incredible detail, which you probably do if you follow this channel, then you'll love the content on The Great Courses Plus. The Great Courses Plus is a subscription on-demand video learning service which provides you with unlimited access to over 7,000 top-notch lectures and courses from top professors from the Ivy League and other great universities globally, as well as experts from places such as National Geographic, and the Smithsonian. If you enjoyed this video, then I highly recommend checking out the 36 part lecture series on the Industrial Revolution taught by Professor Patrick Allett. In lecture 14, he discusses the creation of tools that drove the machines that then drove the Industrial Revolution. And I found the entire course hugely inspiring for this video. For example, who made the machines that made the nuts and bolts to make the machines? That's the sort of stuff I like to know. So head over to thegreatcoursesplus.com slash makersmuse to start your free one month trial today and I'll also leave a link in the video description and it helps support the channel as well so I can continue to bring you content like this in future. If you want to see future 3D printing projects, tutorials and more mechanisms then be sure to subscribe to Makers Muse. My name is Angus and I look forward to seeing you again very shortly. Happy printing guys, bye. He has placed satellites into water. He has actually blocked.